Thank you for taking the time to stop by and check out my video about the Mono Price Maker Ultimate 3D printer. So I'm still having some problem printing with the TPU, the flexible filament. Um, it is still, uh, no matter how slow I go, I've even had it down to five millimeters per second, still uh, seems to uh, uh, bind up in the gear right here. So um, I found this 3D printed port on Thingverse, and I'll leave a description, leave a link to it in the description below. Um, but it is supposed to bring the um, the little hole there, a little uh, the thing that goes between the gears, a little bit closer. Sorry, let me get a shot here. The thing that uh, goes between the gears a little bit closer to hopefully um, keep it from bowing out as it's feeding. But also with this, um, if that doesn't work, it's not close enough. And I will try to take a before and after shot. But uh, if it's not close enough, um, um, I'll just be able to drill this hole out a little bit deeper, a little bit wider in order to put some uh, tubing in there to hopefully that would help guide it a little better. So... Uh, give me just a second, let me get it apart, and we'll take a closer look at it. Alright, so here is a close-up of the actual gear part here, and uh, that plastic piece, how close um, it is. Um, so you want that uh, little triangle right here um, up as far into that gear as possible to keep it from bowing out um, in there. So if you'll notice, it is kind of off to the side a little bit. So... We're going to put this new piece on here and I'll be right back and we'll see what it looks like. Just one more good clean shot of it there uh, and where that gear is uh, and we will go from there. Like with the lever off of it um, and then also we'll remove this thing and that uh, the screw and that plastic piece should come off. Uh, sorry for the glare there on the camera. Just hoping that you can see exactly what it looks like there and then going to see the difference here in a few minutes. Alrighty, this is with the new piece installed here. It's going to be a little bit better focus here. And it does look a little bit closer there. Definitely a tighter fit. Um, I'll try to get a side-by-side -side picture from off the videos. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to work. Uh, I guess only time will tell and a couple prints with TPU. We'll see uh, how it goes, so... There is that new pre 3D printed part. Works with um, your existing parts. All you need is that one, um, that one 3D printed part. Now they do have the levers and stuff available, but I just use my old one. So, alrighty. Well, only time will tell. Let me get this reinstalled, and I will start a print. Got it installed here. Man, that's close. Got my first set of ink in it, so it does run all the way through, but hmm. I'll throw some TPU on it and start printing and see what happens. All right, so um, normally we have a jam by now. I um, have not had one. Um, it looks like it's feeding very well. You can kind of see right there the red of what I've got printed off so far without a jam. Now normally um, if it's going to jam, it will jam within the first few layers and then it would um, mess up even going at the initial layers of 5 millimeters per second. So um, I've had, once usually prints get this far, I've had them actually complete. So uh, basically... I will rest. I would be rested sure that it has fixed the issue. If as soon as this one gets done, and I can start another one and get at this point. So um, once that happens, I will um, go ahead and complete this video and upload it, and hopefully that it can be some help with some people. So uh, we're gonna wait uh, one more start, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, I'll be happy and convinced that this has fixed the, um, the issue so I am now on my second print and um, I haven't had a jam so I am very excited because I have been fighting this for the last two weekends trying to get it to work with the TPU 
and I was getting some successful prints, but a lot of failures. So finally, I think, um, I thank you for the guy that designed this part on Thingverse. Um, this has been a lifesaver. Um, and um, there are some options out there that's expensive, but I don't think this one, it would fit this one anyways. So I am excited. I am at my second print. Uh, once again at my second print uh, without a failure and normally it's already a failure at the beginning here so I am definitely excited um, I'm also doing a time lapse right now so this is a little fast print it's only about an hour and 10 minutes um, by the way I am running at 30 uh, milli millimeters per second too so uh, I'm going at the uh, maximum minimum speed that they do recommend. Um, I'm, I currently am running at um, uh, 220 degrees uh, and then also uh, 50 on the bed. So that's just my settings I'm using right now. Now that I've got it to where I could actually uh, start printing stuff, uh, I'll mess with my settings to see if I can get a better print from any of them. But yes. Um, look forward to the time lapse that will be coming up in just a second. Thank you very much for viewing my channel, and I sure hope this has been helpful. Um, uh, once again, the links to, uh, to Thingverse is going to be at the bottom of the description. Thank you.